Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Nermadon. I'll be making a video for you guys over Call of Duty Black Ops 2 today, and unfortunately, I do not know the end final result or anything like that, but I imagine a lot of you guys are here just to watch some gameplay and, you know, kind of see what I do throughout the thing, so hopefully the final score or the actions I do during the gameplay are something of a positive reaction by you guys, and I'm sure you guys will inform me if, you know, they were something you're interested in. But when it comes down to it, guys, at any time during the video, if you enjoy something I say, or if you guys just want to show your support, you guys can mash that positive reaction button. Maybe you'd like to leave a comment in a positive way. And when it comes down to it, YouTube also has other features, and I hope you guys will use those. But when it really comes down to it, guys, I watched a video here actually pretty recently. And I don't know, it impacted me in a way, and it made me think that, you know, there are things that I would like to talk about to you guys, and maybe I'd like to shed some light on some information that maybe I've been withdrawn for a while. You know, I haven't exactly shared it to the full extent to you guys. And I feel like it's kind of my obligation in one sense, but at the same expense, you know, I am a person. I can choose to pick what I say, and I spend a lot of time making these videos. I obviously spend a lot of time prepping for them, and I do my best to, you know, entertain you guys in one way or another. I may not do the most, you know, comedy channel or anything like that. I'm not a troller, and I definitely don't make montages or anything like that. And, you know, that kind of places me into a different market and really makes me kind of pick and choose how I talk about things. And a lot of things there are on YouTube that you just can't talk about. And, you know, a lot of it's common sense, but believe it or not, there are people that really try to push that guideline. They really try to push that community. They really try to, I guess, differ amongst different users. And it's different, of course. You know, you're more than willing to do however you choose to do YouTube. But, you know, there was a question that arose, and... It really made me think. It's like, you know, what am I still doing YouTube for? Because a lot of you guys, you know, I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. I don't want you guys to get any, like, bad thought about that. But to a certain extent, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, and I've seen no growth. I mean, I've seen growth in a different, completely far-off different aspect, and a lot of it's my fault. I can blame nobody but myself because I didn't spend the full time into this. I didn't put forth 100% effort, and to be honest, I really didn't put a lot into this. I really had no interest in becoming something larger than myself, and to this day, you know, I am pleased to say I may not have 10,000 subs, I may not have the ability to post on to any kind of network that is sufficient or has any basis for it, but I'm pleased to note that I continue to do this every day, and I look forward to making videos. I think they're a lot of fun, and that's kind of why I continue making them. I have no, you know, obligation, I have no, you know, downside of how I make my videos, I just kind of make them because they have become something that is just standard to my daily life, and that's kind of what I do. But, Woody's Gamertag said it best, and he just made a video here recent, depending on when you guys watch this, but he talked about the haters, and, you know, I try not to address haters, but unfortunately there is one that I continue to go back to. And a lot of you guys have heard that, I've talked about it many times, and I've definitely announced it. There are some users that just show up once in a while just to, you know, dislike the video, which, you know, to be honest with you guys, I don't appreciate it. I don't think it's a cool thing, but I can't stop those people. I can't make them not like me. I can't, you know, go along with life and be like, oh, you know, there will everybody's going to like me. Because no, that's not how realistic works. That's not how reality works in one way or another. There are always going to be people that don't like you, and some facts are different than others. Some people just don't like your tone, some don't like your voice, maybe you speak a language that they're not accustomed to, your accent, uh, maybe it's the things that you talked about in your commentary, your video, the gameplay. I mean, the list goes on. There's so much stuff that you have to take into account, and considering that YouTube is, you know, worldwide, there are different groups of people that enjoy different things. And, of course, if you are a Spanish commentator and you speak Spanish, there's a good chance that people that, you know, are only English and that's their fluent language probably don't understand or maybe they just don't like it because of the accent. And that's the same way with English to any other country. You know, there are definitely accents and, you know, voice and communication and anything like that that people just aren't drawn to or the topic that I have at hand. And it really made me think, you know, what am I still doing YouTube for? Well, I still want a basis. I still want to have that guideline and I would like to think that I've overcame a lot of things. Granted, you know, again, I don't have a basis that is sufficiently large, and I don't have a database, and I can't look upon people and, you know, expect there to be a posit <coughs> positive outcome for every single video. That's just not how YouTube works, and that's not how it's been in my favor. And, you know, again, as I told you guys, you know, who can I blame? Well, I can only blame myself because I didn't put full effort into this. I, you know, wasn't writing all my tags. They were preset. I wasn't spending a lot of time on the video. I didn't know exactly quality specifications when I started out on this journey, I guess you could say. And I still look forward to making videos. I have no interest in leaving. But, you know, the thing that you have to overcome is you have to overcome yourself. You have to look at it and know that you're putting the best product out there. And I think I'm doing that now. Granted, when the new equipment comes, I think I will be up to standards with what a lot of people do. And I look forward to that. So, 
I guess my message to you guys is if you want to jump into YouTube, you know, the first thing you have to overcome is yourself because the other people, the people that watch your videos are the second thing. They're the second line. Well, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, the question comes up is why are you still doing it then? And that's something that I thought about. I have no interest in leaving. I enjoy this every day. But I still have to ask myself, you know, do I enjoy doing this? And the answer is yes, I will continue doing it as long as I enjoy it. But at the same expense, it doesn't matter if I have a, you know, partnership with Machine It doesn't matter if I've had the luxury of playing with some of the highest names in the community for Call of Duty and kind of Battlefield in that same sense. But that stuff doesn't matter as long as I enjoy continuing to do it. Now, continuing to bring you guys the best content that I can, that is another thing that I have to take notion of. That's why I constantly ask you guys for any kind of feedback. That's why the information that you guys provide throughout the video is so important. It is the most important thing in the world. But it is also the second most important because, you know, I have to look at everything I do and I have to look at it in a perspective that allows myself to at least enjoy what I'm doing. And if you guys are enjoying it, then that's amazing. That means I'm accomplishing at least one goal. But at the same expense, you know, I can't make everybody happy. I know some of the Battlefield guys don't like that I do Call of Duty every day, or I've been doing it, and I apologize about that. But there's so much stuff that I have to take into account. There's so many different markets. There's so much different information that has to be accounted for. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, I look forward to doing a lot of new things, and I'm sure some of you guys won't like playthroughs. And I've told you guys this many times before, but... I imagine my view count will probably differ, and that's perfectly fine with me. As long as I'm having fun, I'm going to continue to do what I like, but at the same expense, I still have to keep you guys posted, I still have to do updates, and I still have to take into account that you guys are watching my videos for a centralized reason, not just my personality or my ability to commentate over gameplay, because a lot of that stuff is pretty black and white. It's not that difficult, but... Anyway, guys, I thought I would talk to you guys about this. Woody's Gamer Tag just made a video, and it kind of struck me, and it allowed myself to kind of, you know, rethink a couple of things, allow myself to maybe expose some information to you guys that maybe I don't talk about every day. Maybe I don't give enough props, and maybe I don't say thank you guys enough for everything you do, but it means a lot. So I guess this is NMO. Signing off. I'll see you guys in another video, and until then, guys, have a good one. Peace.